is a veteran? Um, it's someone that helps people. Uh, a person who served in the military. A veterinarian. And what do, veter what do vets do? Help animals. Someone that like, works in the animals. A soldier. Somebody in the army. A vet? And what do vets do? Um, they help the, um, pets feel better. A veteran is, is a helpful for teachers. Established on June 4th, 1775. It is the main ground force in the military. It is the largest branch of our military with approximately 76,000 officers and 401,000 enlisted soldiers on active duty. Go on! in 1775, the Navy protects and defends the freedom of the seas. There are approximately 54,000 officers and 324,000 enlisted personnel on active duty. Go Navy! Coast Guard. The Coast Guard was established originally in 1790 but was not named. It was reformed into the United States Coast Guard in 1915. The Coast Guard patrols our waters and assists the Navy in defending and protecting our seas. There are approximately 7,000 officers and 29,000 enlisted personnel on active duty. Go Coast Guard! was established in 1947 under the National Security Act. The Air Force defends the United States through air and space. There are approximately 69,000 officers and 288,000 enlisted personnel on active duty. Go Air Force! established in 1775. The Marines are a land force for the Navy and often perform quick specialized missions. There are approximately 18,000 officers and 153,000 enlisted personnel on active duty. Go Marines!
Veterans Day is a very important holiday for America. It is a holiday we say thank you to some very brave people. Before we had Veterans Day, there was a holiday called Armistice Day. But that day became Veterans Day in 1954. Today, our guests are boy, girl, Marine, sailor, and soldier. Who is a veteran? All men and women who have served in the United States Army Force. Anyone who served in the Air Force, Coast Guard, Navy, Marines, and Army. Veterans Day is a day to tell each person who is in the military or was in the military banking. We are grateful because veterans are brave and work hard. Some of you have parents in the military right now. Or grandparents who were in the military. I will take my mom and give her a hug. He is in the army. Army strong! We say that because we are black. I will call my grandpa. He was in the Navy. Go Navy! What is my November was every year. Who changed the holiday to Veterans Day? President Eisenhower changed the holiday to Veterans Day. Is Veterans Day the same holiday as Memorial Day? No, Veterans Day is a day to honor the three military people who are alive. Memorial Day is a day to honor the military men and women who died for our country. There are over 25 million veterans. Wow. That's so many people to come. Thank you. America's White Table by Margot Thies Raven. It was just a little white table, but it brought tears of pride to my Uncle John's eyes the Veterans Day he came for dinner and stood by it, set for one person, even though nobody would be eating at it. It was just a little white table, but earlier that day, Mama had told Gretchen, Samantha, and me the little table we were setting for Veterans Day was just like the ones that have stood across America in the dining halls of the Army, Navy, Marine Corps, and Air Force since the Vietnam War ended. The tables honor the men and women who serve in America's armed forces, especially those missing in action, our MIAs, and those held prisoner of war, our POWs. It was just a little white table, but it felt as big as America when we helped Mama put each item on it, and she told us why it was so important. We use a small table, girls, she explained first, to show one soldier's lonely battle against many. We cover it with a white cloth to honor a soldier's pure heart when he answers his country's call to duty. We place a lemon slice and grains of salt on a plate to show a captive soldier's bitter fate and the tears of families waiting for loved ones to return, she continued. We push an empty chair to the table for the missing soldiers who are not here. We lay a black napkin for the sorrow of captivity and turn over a glass for the meal that won't be eaten, she said. We place a white candle for peace, and finally, a red rose in a vase tied with a red ribbon for the hope that all are missing will return someday. Mama finished speaking just as sunlight spilled on the table and filled the overturned glass. It was just a little white table, but it suddenly made me want to burst with a feeling I couldn't explain when Mama told us how much our setting the white table would mean to Uncle John that night. Then she told us something we didn't know. Our Uncle John, who gave us big bear hugs and spun us with airplane twirls and called me his Katie girl, was a POW in Vietnam before we were born. It was just a little white table, 
but it gave us the courage to ask Mama what happened to Uncle John in Vietnam. She quietly told us his story. When Uncle John served in Vietnam, he was sent on a rescue mission, and his helicopter was shot down behind enemy lines, she began. And he and his three crew members were taken prisoner. One crew member named Mike had serious wounds from the crash, but Uncle John and the other men tried to help Mike get better and persuaded a guard to bring Mike medicine. Then one day, when a guard looked away, Uncle John and the others had a chance to escape. But Mike was still too sick to go. So Uncle John stayed behind because he wouldn't leave a fellow soldier alone so far from home. But how did Uncle John get free? We asked Mama. Sometime later, Uncle John had a chance to escape again. And somehow he was able to take Mike with him, carrying him on his back and collecting just enough rainwater in big leaves to keep them alive until Uncle John found an American infantry unit to help them. But even though Uncle John did everything he could to bring Mike home alive, Mike's wounds were just too serious, and he died before the rescue helicopter landed. I know that Mike was only 20 years old, and he dreamed of playing football, but he loved America enough to give his life for his country when duty called. And I know how much Uncle John loves America too, but he learned when helping Mike that a soldier risks his life for a fellow soldier, because the best of your country lives in every man and woman who will lay down their life for you too. It was just a little white table, but it needed words of gratitude like Mama's Thanksgiving meal. So before Uncle John arrived for dinner, Gretchen and Samantha and I decided to put three gifts of our own on the table to honor our veterans. Gretchen colored pictures of all the objects on the table, and Samantha wrote out the words of my country, Tisithi, as a tribute in song. But I didn't know what I, a 10-year-old girl, could ever put on the table that was as important as each veteran's gift of freedom to me. It was just a little white table, but I looked at it all dinner long. And in the quiet inside me, I could almost hear the silent soldiers of the empty chair saying, remember us please. We are real people like your Uncle John and Mike, who left families and friends, homes and dreams of our own, to protect your birthright of liberty from disappearing as easily as sunlight from a glass. It was just a little white table, but it took my words away when I hugged Uncle John goodnight and wanted to thank him for serving our country so bravely. So I just hugged him even harder and told him I loved him. Uncle John hugged me back even harder than I had hugged him. And that's when I knew what I could put on the table. My promise to put the words from my heart into a little book about America's white table. And in the book, I'd use Gretchen's pictures and Samantha's song and Mama's story about Uncle John and his friend Mike, because I hoped that everyone who read it would set a white table on Veterans Day too. So the brave Americans the little table honors won't ever feel forgotten by the country they loved so much. Then in the salt on the little white table, I traced in the grains of their family's tears what each man and woman who serves America is to me, a hero. And that's when I saw the tears of pride fill my Uncle John's eyes.
Michael Myers. I am Gianni Nichols' uncle. I served the United States Air Force and the Air Force Reserve for 20 years in the specialties of aircraft maintenance and logistics. I retired as a major and uh, was honored to serve my country. If tomorrow all the things were gone, I'd work for all my life. And I had to start again with just my children and my wife. I thank my lucky stars to be living here today. Cause the flag still stands for freedom and they can't take that away. From the lakes of Minnesota to the hills of Tennessee, across the plains of Texas, from sea to shining sea, from Detroit down to Houston and New York to LA, where there's pride in every American heart, and it's time we stand and say. There ain't no doubt I love this land God bless the USA And I'm proud to be an American Where at least I know I'm free And I won't forget the men who died Who gave that right to me And I gladly stand up next to you And defend her still today Cause there ain't no doubt